I immediately sensed a demonic spirit. My heart was beating so fast that I thought it was going to explode. Sarah Gonzalez was in her 20s when she started experimenting with witchcraft. She had no idea the darkness she invited into her life. I remember just being fascinated by different depictions of goddesses from the Aztecs. And um, I began building altars to the dead. She was introduced to the spiritual realm as a child. Her father, Andy Gonzalez, a Christian pastor, led a prison ministry in Chicago. Andy had some biblical advice for his then six-year-old daughter. My father would tell me, Sarita, if you ever see a demon, if you're ever afraid or you're ever in danger, say the name of Jesus. At six years old, I was very close with him, total daddy's girl. Unfortunately, their close relationship would be short-lived. We were in Bermuda on a family vacation. We were um, checking out of the hotel room and I opened the bathroom door and I saw my father vomiting blood. And then within 48 hours of our return, he internally bled to death. I remember starting first grade three weeks after he died and my report cards from my teachers would say, she just stares out the window. I had all Fs and anger started to flood into my heart. I went to the kid's bathroom and I cursed God with every bad word that I knew. Almost as if to say, you've done the worst thing you could do to me, so, so now what? At the age of 14, she began using drugs and alcohol to numb the pain of losing her father. Still, an inner anger raged. At 21, Sarah became a social justice activist. I remember even as a little girl calling white people blue-eyed devils. And so as I was in this movement, I felt that white people owed me something. I felt that they were the perfect culprit for all of my problems. A lot of the activists and organizers, their work was intermingled with hostility towards Christianity and witchcraft. At 26, Sarah began praying to Aztec deities and fully embraced witchcraft. One night, she had an encounter with a dark spiritual force. And I took a hit of weed, and I immediately sensed a demonic spirit, and this demon wrestled with me to possess me. Sarah remembered her father's advice from many years ago to call out to Jesus. I actually had a, a, a deep sense that I would die if I didn't call out to Jesus. And as soon as the name of Jesus came out of my mouth, the demon retreated. Even after experiencing the power of Jesus' name, Sarah hardened her heart and feared what her friends might think of her. I woke up and I said to myself, I'm going to pretend like that never happened. And so then in the coming months, I, I lived in fear each day that it would happen again. Months later, her fear was realized once again. I saw a demon manifest. It was almost as if the face was made of wax and it began to melt and contort and twist. It was like, oh boy, here we go again. This is happening again. My whole body was just gripped with torment. The next morning, still terrified, Sarah received a text from her mother. The text said, I don't know what you're involved in, but this is no game. There's deliverance in Jesus' name. The Lord woke me in the middle of the night to earnestly pray for you. The Lord had woken her up and she was interceding for me. And I remember being very stunned that God was pursuing me even in my, especially in my rejection of him. And it was as if instantly the Lord removed the veil from my eyes and I had an immediate revelation that Jesus is God, that my life was going to change and I was going to walk out of darkness into his light. Sarah gave her life to Jesus Christ 
and returned home to Chicago with a new perspective. I would wake up early. I would spend time with the Lord. He was answering my plea to show me who he really was. Today, Sarah is a youth director at her church and is grateful to God who saved her. Even in my total rejection of him, he opened my eyes to see who he is. My father would always cling to Isaiah 54, where it says, your children will be taught by the Lord and great will be their peace. And God's word endures and God has fulfilled that in my life, even as I went to the farthest corners of depravity and destruction and total idolatry, total rebellion against God. He, in his sovereignty, is the one who saves, and he will do it.